If your CEO emailed you asking for a quick favor, would you say no? Well, that's exactly what hackers are counting on. Business email compromise is when a cyber criminal pretends to be a high ranking person within your organization, like a CEO, CFO, or VP. They're usually sending you an email asking for sensitive information, a wire transfer, or even gift cards. The emails are pretty simple, they're polite, and don't often include links or attachments, which makes them hard to catch or tricky to, uh, to actually find out if they're a business email compromise. What you should look out for are emails from your CEO or quote unquote finance director asking for urgent help. They're, the bad actors are typically trying to play with your emotions and get you to do something when you shouldn't. Slight changes in the sender's email address are also a telltale sign. Your, the email address from your CEO should be ceo.company.com, but bad actors will change that to ceo at company.co. Minute change that you might not catch. Messages asking you to buy gift cards or wire money or send payroll information are also an easy sign that you should avoid actually responding to that message. A keep this between us or don't call me, I'm in a meeting are also classic tricks that bad actors use. How to stay protected is somewhat straightforward. You should never, uh, you should always verify unusual requests, especially when it comes to money or sensitive information. Calling the person directly or texting them through a different channel is a way to also mitigate that risk. And training your team, especially HR teams and finance teams to spot impersonation, impersonation attempts is a great tool or a way to mitigate risks throughout your organization. And lastly, implementing a security solution like Harmony Email and Collaboration to prevent people from uh, accessing malicious information or impersonation attempts is an easy way to have a solution sit in line with your Office 365 or Microsoft or, or your Google Workspace account to prevent these threats from even reaching the user's inbox. I hope you found this information informative and educational. I'll be creating a lot more content, trying to help educate people on the common threats that bad actors will use to get people to do something via email. But either way, I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.